Good morning guys, welcome to a day in my life. So I'm gonna try and take you behind the scenes as much as I can today, keep things as normal as possible, and I'm gonna show you the exact steps that I'm taking to make my goal of becoming a full-time trader a reality. So let's dive into it. So what do we have over here? So for the first drinks of the day, we've got some distilled water. We've also got some black coffee in there as well. And I do intermittent fasting until around midday each day for around 16 hours. So before I jump on the charts to do my daily forecasting and refine my watch list for the day, I like to spend 10 to 15 minutes in the morning doing meditation using the Headspace app. Now this is guided meditation and I find it helps me stay in a proactive state of mind throughout the day rather than being reactive, which especially helps within the markets and within trading. So I've just finished up with my forecasting for the day. Pound Swiss been my main sort of watch for the day. So I wanted to take you through the live thought process of this. In terms of the trades that I'm currently in on this, shorter term trades, so I'm currently in from the lows here. Nearly got tagged out, but still in the position from here, which is currently running, yeah, just about 1.5. So not too much at this point. My stops are out break even on this, so that's, that's cool. In terms of the longer term trade, what I'm currently in on this is from the low again. So same entry different account and I'm looking to hold this for the longer term. So the first target with this position that I have in mind is this here. So we're paying attention to see how price gets to here. That will be the first real target that I do pay attention to and then see how price actually approaches that. Do we get there impulsively or do we get there correctively? So that's going to be an interesting line in the sand essentially. So we'll be watching that. So just thought I'd take you through the live thought process of a position in live markets. That's pretty much what I'm looking at in the markets today. I'm just gonna manage this appropriately and see how this develops. Those morning hours during the day are very, very important for me personally. That's where I get 80% of my work done for the day. And that's my distraction free time zone. My phone's on airplane mode, it's in a locker upstairs in my room. Um, no distractions if possible. And that's the time frame where I'll implement time blocking. So I'll have one to two hour sections on a task. For example, back testing. I will smash out that using an app called Brain FM, which is really good when you put your headphones on for focus. Helps you get in the flow state, helps you get in the zone for the day. And I'll have that on, smash through some work sessions, and I'll try to get through at least four sessions in the morning, uh, if not more. So that's very key for me. And I'll have like five to 10 minute breaks in between to keep myself fresh, to keep myself on point. So when I go back to the next session, I'm fully ready. So as you can see today, my five daily goals are to backtest Kiwi CAG Q1 2019, uh, watch and break down a trade recap, chest workout, and then of course, what I'll do right now is filming the day in the life video. So gonna be working through that now. So I just got finished up back testing Kiwi CAD Q1 2019. Had a mini break, did some reading, come back. I'm about to dig into a trade recap from Falcon. I'm gonna dissect it, gonna break it down, I'm gonna figure out exactly what I need to work on going forward. Looking forward to getting into that, let's get into it now. So I finished watching the Falcon recap and I'm just breaking it down now, but I wanted to give you an insight into how I'm actually breaking things down and how I'm working towards Obviously my goal of becoming full-time, like this is a small step in the day that works towards that, improves your skill. So I really wanna show you behind the scenes. So if you take a look at this, here's what I'm currently doing with recaps. So this is on a two week basis. So every re a recap comes out every two weeks and then I, I spend time breaking it down. So here's the key, right? So let's take a look at the first position I wanna cover. So pound Swiss long for break even. We've been watching this trade for weeks and weeks. This one didn't happen to develop but it was a break even, which is totally fine. I did take this trade. So I took the same trade and it stuck to my plan. Here's the key question. So this part here, the self review part. So it's really about 
actually figuring figuring out, okay, well, if I didn't take a trade, why didn't I take it? And if you did take it, did you manage it in the same way? Or could you have done anything different or managed it better? Like, that's the key. So very nice trade and I take it again. But in this case with Kiwi Dollar, let's take a look at this one. This one's a little bit more interesting. So Kiwi Dollar, Banked mark 3% profit, taken on the 5th of July. A little summary on trade analysis there. Again, self-reviewing part, did I plan for this trade? I wasn't planning for this trade. So that's a discrepancy in itself. And, and it did stick to my plan. So that's about figuring out why I didn't forecast it. Here you can see my original forecast from the day of the from the day that trade materialized. And I was kind of overcomplicating it just a little bit. So that's a real lesson that I've taken away from this recap. You can see here, I've just highlighted it in yellow. It is about learning from those key lessons. And this is what I've been doing with every trade recap. Just really breaking it down, figuring out, okay, well, if I didn't take a trade, why didn't you take it? It's about getting into, into those little details. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to bring you behind the scenes and show you that. But now I'm done with the trade recap, so I'm gonna do some reading for a bit and uh, take you downstairs with me. So it's currently around 2 p.m. right now. The first meal is gonna be oats, almond milk, bananas, and then just a touch of cinnamon. Added a bit too much. And then just before I get into that, I'm gonna have some black seed oil. I've been taking this over the past couple of weeks. Really like it, something to research for yourself. That's what I'm taking. Okay, so gonna get into a bit of reading right now just before I head to the office and then the gym as well. So currently reading The Magic of Thinking Big. Very good book, highly recommended. And I overall like to read with a highlighter just to make sure that I take away the key points, apply it into my own life and actually learn from what I'm reading as well. So gonna get into this now and I'll join you back here in a bit. So it's now later on in the day, it's currently around about quarter past five in the UK. So just been taking out a break even on one of the trades, still currently in the trade, but on the other trade by probably one or two pips, it was entered in the exact same position. So it's likely I get taken out at some point shortly, which is fine, totally fine with that. It's the game of probabilities at the end of the day. You don't know which trades are gonna play out and which ones don't. So it is about the edge playing out over time, not necessarily individual trades. So. With that in mind, nothing's changed structurally. Daily chart still looking very clean, heading into next week and the week after especially. So that's looking good. We still are contained within this bigger descending formation. It's just about what comes next. So going into next week, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good to prepare for this trade, see how things form, but nothing's changed structurally. Still looking for the exact same thing. So for meal number two, we've got some eggs, we've got some greens, rice, and then some avocado, hummus, and I'm gonna grab a protein shake just before I head to the gym. So I'm gonna eat this now and then get ready for the gym. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the art It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah <laughs> So just got done with a Friday night chest workout at the gym. Gym's about to shut, I'm about to get back now, do the Friday market breakdown, preparation for the week next week. So it should be good, but yeah, I'll join you back home. 
So just got back from the gym, so I'm pretty hungry. So meal number three is one broccoli. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so for meal number three, we've got salmon, vegetables, broccoli, and kale. And then we're gonna eat this, get into some market breakdown and forecasting for the week ahead. What's up guys, it's currently around about half 11 in the UK right now, Friday night, so I'm about to dive into the market breakdown in preparation for next week. Got back from the gym a couple of hours ago, got changed, had a shower the other way around, and then grabbed some food, and now I'm ready to dive into this. So, today was one of those days where I didn't really feel like doing this, in all honesty. I've had, I feel like pretty tired, I feel pretty tired, I could have easily taken the easy route out and just not done this, but... When you have goals to work towards, you need to make hard decisions sometimes. You need to make choices in line with those goals. And sometimes that's going to be uncomfortable, but the comfortable decisions are often the easy decisions, and that's going to sway you away from your goals. So important to stick to your goals, important to do what's hard in the time, because I guarantee you make a lot of growth in the long term. Once I've got that top six, that will of course be refined over the weekend. I'll check back at this multiple times and make sure that that top six is solid and no other pairs are coming on that six. And what I'll also do is form a wild cards list as well. So any pair that doesn't quite make the top six, but does still have potential, I'll put them up, that in my wild cards and I'll still be paying attention for that next week. So that's very important. And without further ado, gonna dive into this breakdown. So my top six and wild cards are now form for next week. So we got euro dollar short, pound Swiss long, euro pound short, pound dollar long, dollar cad short, kiwi cad short, and in terms of wild cards we've got Aussie dollar short and pound cad long. Now this may change over the course of the weekend, but right now the foundation is set and it is looking good for next week. So. Looking good, everything's ready in terms of Friday preparations. So just gonna dive into this tomorrow and Sunday and just make sure everything's ready. Mm -hmm. 